Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae and welcome back again to the Mola Mola collab. There's fish in it, that's fantastic. My relative joy last time was a combination of genuine happiness that the Mola Mola collab had returned and the fact that I was infused with coffee and caffeine and things are no different today. I'm still glad that it's back and I am infused with coffee and a brilliant new way of making it. Usually, to make a good coffee, you'll need a cafetiere because instant coffee, at least I think, is absolutely disgusting and should be avoided at all costs unless you're making a coffee cake. Unfortunately, cafetiers aren't the solution to everything because they are liars. They say that they will plunge out your coffee and get rid of any of the nasty odds and sods bits of coffee grain that you've made your coffee out of. But they don't. It all ends up in the mug at the end, and as well as having a bitty coffee, you have a dirty cafetiere. So I've cut out the cafetiere middleman and made this using two mugs and a tea strainer, which can also be a coffee strainer don't fret. So apart from being rather proud of the reduction in mess of that, I now have a thick, black, strong, lovely coffee to give me energy to look at the Mola Mola collab once again, though there is already some natural energy because I enjoy the collab so much. You know I love coming back to things and the Mola Mola is back and we're back the back. It's like a double back because it's the second video on it. What I'd like to start by doing today is getting the unit that we didn't manage to get before. That old what's it face, you know, him, the squiddy, not squid, the dolphin-y bloke. Despite doing six of these stage, I didn't get him. So maybe we'll get him this time round, but if we don't, I can use a treasure radar on the final stage. There shall be no worries in that department. And as usual, we're ripping through it nice and quickly. And as much as I'm used to the squid, I still like the squid very much and the sad little fish. When Cola Bottle was making a thumbnail, he'd made one and it was really good. But I was like, can I have some of the sad little fish? And he's like, who are the sad little fish? Mola, 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 this is almost a complete formality at this point, getting through these levels nice and quickly. I really hope that later in the collab they introduce more levels to it. I love Mola Mola and I want there to be more of it. It's fair enough that we've got this, but none of it is extremely difficult and what would be brilliant is a kind of deadly Mola Mola stage. Imagine that to get my teeth into. It's really difficult because there's a really strong fish and I can't beat the fish and I could be like, oh, flipping flop, I can't beat the fish. But as much as my pitch may sound appealing, it doesn't yet exist, so we'll have to work with what we've got, and that at the moment is Life Ain't Easy Kid, which I guess in 3 star will be a little bit more challenging than it was previously, and may present some strategy being needed. So what I will do is keep these erasers here, and then wait until we have enough monies for a cyberpunk, and then put that out. Oh, unfortunately it seems a side effect of my really strong coffee is that I'm really struggling to breathe, so I'm having to talk in short sentences and in the edit goodness me there's gonna be huge gaps <gasps> in me saying things because <laughs> for some reason the coffee maybe because it's quite thick has destroyed my airway ah good I thought it might have been guaranteed in the last stage and whether it was or wasn't we've got it meowla meowla received activate it at the upgrade menu and there we go that's the third star completed and so many leaderships in my possession that would be 13 of them Unlucky? I don't think so. It's leadership. A cat trained by molars for marine combat. Still kind of wishes he became a meteorologist. Resistant to red enemy attacks. Catapedo! Evolved arms instead of legs. Weird. Hates being stepped all over. Stop it! Resistant to red enemy attacks once again. Well, let's get that up to level 30 at least, and we will see its virtue proved in the other bit of the Mola Mola collab that we didn't get onto last time, the Cat Claw Dojo. Now, I almost never go to the Cat Claw Dojo because I get shown up by other people's scores, and fundamentally, it doesn't help my progress within the game. Not to say that it isn't helpful and fun for other people, just not traditionally for me. But it's Mola Mola, and wherever there's Mola Mola, there's me. 
Three minutes remaining then. I always like this clock. It adds a certain drama to the situation. And there's fish! I mean, of course there are fish, but that's fantastic. Right, well, Manic Macho Legs, when it gets there, is going to be great for clearing out loads of fish at a time. Let's just see how it does that. Wabam! Oh, it's kind of sad to see all the fish die, but also kind of satisfying to get loads of score. Right, remember, Reggit, no monies for defeating things here. So what we need to work on is managing monies well and getting loads of points, which we are starting to do well with Manic Macho Legs. But here's our cat torpedo, and I'll tell you what, he looks really, really determined. Look at those fists. Unfortunately, the rather wonderful version of Junfish Zones is too much for him, and he's not actually seeming to be achieving anything other than looking pretty, pretty hacker. Well, just looking pretty hacker. See, this is actually starting to present quite a real challenge, but I think that spamming Manica Razors and then Can Can when I can, and then the legs and the sort of money efficient units like that when I can is gonna get us some score, but this strategy can definitely be refined. Oh, we got to the base that time and out of the question marks come some crabs. You know what time it is. even better when the cat torpedo attacks it. It sneezes at them. Of all the things for a torpedo to do, it sneezes at them. 11, 10 seconds left. Can we get any more pointage out of here? Maybe kill the jumpfish zones? Probably not. It's behind the base, but we're certainly clearing out quite a few fish at the same time. One second and zero seconds left. Finishing with 37,000, which is probably bad. Let's find out how bad with the magical score of thing. Yeah. I mean, for someone in as late a game point as me, that is indeed truly dreadful. Prepare yourselves, for I have gone proper dojo. I've rocked out the first page, strange thing to call it, with all sorts of, well, two combos to help with worker cat start level, which is the classic that you do within the dojo because you don't get monies for killing enemies. Below that, got rid of the rover, too expensive a meat shield, didn't really have the ability or will to get rid of Cat Torpedo because, I mean, look at the thing. we still got Can Can, we still got the most successful unit of the ones we had, Manic Macho Legs, and also Maglev. I did briefly think about Major League because of its strange variable range thing and how it can stand back and, in a stack, just kill loads of fish, probably. And, I mean, I may put that in, but it's quite a lot of monies to be stacking them, and I don't know whether we will be able to develop those funds but maybe in the next try. Let's give this a go and we might give the old Valkyrie a whirl. Classic blast from the past, just like the collab. Right, immediately then, let's use Maglev to get us some funds. I hope the Maglev doesn't die, although it probably will. Although, actually, no, we've done that quite well. The damage wasn't as much as I thought it would be, and so now I think we wait for funds for Valkyrie. And go, Valkyrie! Right, meat shield alongside it, Maglev, and wow, we're already doing quite well. We're onto the Junfish Zones wave. The Shockwave helps us there, because it attacked while none of our units were in its attack range. Slow at just the right time there. The stuff isn't moving forward, so we're back at the base once again. That might mean that we get a huge amount of boss waves at the same time, which, yeah, that's probably good. We got the crabs again in record time. And now that we've got over two and a half thousand monies, I am going to save to get Mina out for the final one minute and 38 seconds, because hopefully its huge area of effect should help get us loads more points. It's there at the base, it takes the shot, and another Junfish Zones wave while well, the stuff's repeating. Not quite as exciting as it could have been then, but still, there's fish, so it's fine. We're back at the base again, and Valkyrie's got one of her extremely rare procs. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, for we have made it to another wave with fish aplenty. Absolutely obscene numbers of King Molas at this point, and the Junfish Zones is hurting Mina, which is making it a little bit difficult to progress. I think this is the way we are going to be stopped at, but we are doing significantly better than we did before. Final desperate attempts of Maglev and the like to glean some points, because we're not going to be able to move further than this with the strong defences all these fish are putting up. Oh, but look at that! Killing them just at the last second, and as we reach zero time, we actually kill off all of them. Don't know if we got the points for it or not, but we are just about broken 50,000, and that should be a lot better. But it's not, really. 
I've just realised that the one important unit I'm probably forgetting that is used a lot in the dojo is a Bahama and will probably come in very handy indeed. So here goes a try again with our baseball cat in to see if that might help and also a Bahama. Can I get a respectable score? Right, okay, so Manic Macho Legs is going to be the first thing I put out this time because of its immense power and ability to clear fish in the blink of an eye. See? Next, after this initial round, we'll Oh, probably not be Valkyrie. I want to make the most of my Bahama, although it may die. We'll have to see whether it's a good decision or not as we put it out just after the next boss wave here. Right, let's go for it just after the Junfish Zones attack. I could see one fish die as a result of a shot there, and it seems like the long... Oh, he's dead. You've ruined it. You've ruined it, mate. It seemed, at least, like the long distance was helping to pick off some of the units further back that we couldn't get to. Unfortunately, everything's dead. Right, this is our chance. A stack of an incredible number of two Major League Cats as we make our way to the next boss wave in probably not very good time at all. I feel like this would have actually been a brilliant con concept if we had the range that we needed, but the Junfish Zones is certainly putting a large spanner in our works. Oh no, the base! Oh, it just gave my Bahama a complete whack, and that is just not remotely good. I'm not gonna give Battlecats the satisfaction of telling me how low my score was. Adios! I was thinking that if it weren't actually for the boss shockwaves, it might be a good idea to have Cyberpunk for some long-range damage that would hit back at the pack, but I can't really do that because of those boss shockwaves that were just put out of action for too long. Instead, we got Manic Lions this time, and actually they seem to be doing a clearing out job really well. We've already killed that Junfish Zones, and we're on to the next wave, and we're going to put in an Abraham almost straight away. The base has done its attack, and we've already got another boss wave, and oh, the Abraham dies so quickly it might not be the solution here. Well, we'll save up for Valkyrie instead. See what that can do. And here goes it. Valkyrie, what can you do for us? What wonders can you unearth? No time to save for a Bahama again. We've got very precious few seconds left. Just going to try and spam as many of these fast units as we can and try and glean some score out of it. But it's ultimately going to be worse and so I'm probably going to have to call an end to it there at 50,000 as my record. However, However bad that might prove to be, and I'm sure you'll revel in telling me so, but it's the dojo. I don't really care. Okay, fair enough. That was a lie. I do actually care about this one quite a lot because it is the Mola Mola collab. We're bringing back some classic great cat tournament units here with our housewife cat freshly demonetized. Thank you, housewife cat. Though just to be clear, it's not housewife cat's fault. It's YouTube's. Oh, you'll get demonetized for saying that. What a force we got going on here. Housewife Cat is just cleaning up. Killed loads of units there, and that is good news, but also bad news because they're poor old fish. Unfortunate fish, but also flipping fish because I need to be getting as much score as I possibly can. We've now got a little bit of a stack of Housewife Cats, which is great, going into the pack and dealing loads of damage to them. And in the meantime, just loads of other units, really. I imagine Swimmers doing a good job whenever it can, though I haven't seen one pop up in a while, so maybe they're actually dying off more than I'd like them to, though that was a good strong showing from one just there. We've got a minute and 25 seconds left and we're already over 40,000 scores. So this seems like a much better way to be doing it rather than spending more monies on the more expensive units that can still die off. Though we have hit a little bit of a roadblock and that is not good news. We really need to get ourselves on to the next stage if we possibly can. Please activate the base. Oh well, we killed the Junfish Stones. So that's already rocketed our score up. That's probably part of how badly I did because we didn't kill that unit in time. Same old story. Housewife Cat. Oh, I was going to say Swimmer Cat and all the rest are in force but the base had something to say about that. Well, we got 44 seconds left with which to try and kill some of these big old king molars or activate a new boss wave and kill some of that stuff. We are rocketing past our old record with 66,000 score now. Got some crabs to deal with. Not sure how many of the king molars we're going to have dealt with. But this is our run. We're going to do it. Final few seconds. Swimmer Cat's really struggling against those flipping crabs and their now new strengthened persona. We are really struggling in the last few seconds. No let up from the crabs. Managed to get two of them just about and that's 77,000 score. Much better note to end on, but where does it put us? Top 7%. Well, I will accept that. That's a lot better. And that will do for this video of the Mola Mola collab. As always, flipping love the Mola Mola collab. 
collab. And even though this was the Arena of Honor, which I don't really care about, it was Mola Mola, and it was fun. We got our cat torpedo, which although it has dubious usefulness, looks great and sneezes at things for some reason. And so I'd say overall we've done fairly well today, and I hope you feel you've done fairly well for watching this video and that your time has not been wasted, like the coffee has wasted the breath from my lungs. And before I completely run out of oxygen, I will bid you goodbye and say, I hope you enjoy it.